A skylight is something that can be really intimidating for both homeowners and roofers alike. My name is Moses and I'm here from DreamWorks Exteriors to show you guys why a properly installed quality skylight can bring you many years of lasting enjoyment. So the story here today is that we have a customer who replaced their roof about five years ago, but unfortunately they did not elect to replace the skylights on the roof. So we, do, we got a phone call about uh, a leak coming in through, couldn't find where it was. Come to find it's this, uh, this skylight that wasn't replaced uh, and water's coming through it. So what we're doing here today is actually just pulling the entire thing out. Instead of trying to caulk it, instead of trying to reflash it, we're going to totally replace the entire skylight and make sure that it's actually done properly. That way this customer is set for the rest of the life of this roof. So now that we've actually taken the actual glass part of the skylight off, when we get a better look to see under here where our shortcoming was, the ice and water shield that's meant to go around the perimeter of the skylight is supposed to run up onto the side of the skylight, therefore preventing water from getting in behind it. When it's just run flush up to the side of the skylight, it does you absolutely no good. Any water or snow or ice that sits in there is just gonna get in behind that, uh, that ice and water shield. Okay, so now that we've torn off those, the surrounding shingles and the glass of the skylight itself, uh, what we gotta do is get down on our hands and knees here and see, uh, see the real hidden problem. So uh, your average Joe roofer might come in here and say, hey, we can caulk the edges of the skylight, we can try to reflash it, but that's not necessarily the permanent fix. The reason why we're replacing this entire skylight is because there are things that you can't see. So if we come in close here, we can actually see, obviously, a giant hole in the roof. So the reason this happened is, is that this ice and water shield that was meant to be adhered to this decking here was actually put on top of felt paper. That is not how it's supposed to be installed properly. So water made its way in between the two layers and started to soak this plywood. Uh, had we just caulked this skylight here, then we would never have known about this rotted wood here. So what we're gonna do is get this whole piece torn out here, make sure it's replaced properly, and make sure our ice and water shield is actually adhered properly to the decking before we install the final skylight. So when we're installing a, a skylight, outside of making sure that it's flashed properly and it functions the way it should, we also wanna make sure that the skylight looks pretty from the inside. So when we originally took the skylight off, there was actually a lip that was sitting here that we had to trim down. So it's a kind of a unique situation here where, uh, where there's a few things sticking up that we didn't expect. So what we've done is we've, we've uh, cut this, the lip off of here, and typically we would use drip edge uh, around the in, on the inside perimeter here but in this case, because there's such a, an extreme angle on the top and bottom, what we did, we just actually, we just uh, did the custom bend on some aluminum coil stock uh, and trimmed out the inside of the skylight. So when the customer looks up through their brand new skylight, it looks nice and pretty. Okay, so now that we're getting to the exciting part of the whole job, which is actually installing the skylight. Uh, there's a flange around here that you saw in the beginning of, uh, of this shot where we want to make sure that we're using the supplied nail from the manufacturer. You can see that it's a ring shank nail. In every one of those holes around the flange, you want to make sure that there's a nail in every one of those. This keeps the skylight from shifting back and forth, uh, making sure that when you look up through the hole for, for the skylight, everything looks square. If you were just to use a standard uh, roofing nail, over time, uh, with the property shifting, it could actually back out and cause the skylight to shift. So always make sure that you're using the supplied, uh, supplied fasteners from the manufacturer. So you remember when we were tearing out the skylight originally, the tape that was going around the perimeter of the skylight was not installed properly. So what we're doing here is making sure that we have a proper overlap. Not only do we need a proper overlap, but we need that flashing tape to actually come up inside of here. Remember, this, uh, this flashing tape is the last line of defense for this skylight. If for whatever reason any moisture gets in behind the shingles, the step flashing, the ice and water shield, this is the last line of defense. So we want to make sure that this is installed properly before you get before you start putting on underlayment, ice and water shield, or anything else. This is paramount. The reason why we're doing the bottom first and then the sides is because water rolls downhill. So when we install this tape, we want to make sure that the bottom piece is put on first. The sides are both overlapped over top of the bottom piece and then the top piece will go over the sides. 
This will ensure that no matter what, as long as gravity still works, water will run off the tape instead of behind it. So once again, we're trimming our corners properly, making sure not to cut too deep. Give a small cut there, overlap this, and overlap the side to the bottom. And we'll do the same thing at the top, just to make sure that water is flowing off of there properly. The next step in the process is to make sure we had a little bit of additional ice and water shield around the perimeter of the roof. And as we bring our shingles up, we install our dummy shingle to make sure that we have a nice, pretty exposure here. And then the next step is to bring our flashing kit underneath the rubber gasket to make sure that when we do install our step flashing, all of the water that comes over top of this runs onto the face of the shingle. Keep your nails nice and far away out from the uh, from the inside perimeter of the skylight, and your bottom piece of flashing is installed. After the bottom portion of the flashing is installed, your next step is to make sure that step flashing is installed. If you look on the side of the skylight here, this is exactly what we were missing before from the previous installer. You want to make sure that your piece of step flashing goes right to the top of the keyway on this shingle to make sure it has no chance of making its way in behind the shingle. So now that we've shingled all the way up to the top of the skylight, the next step is to make sure that your flashing kit around the skylight is installed properly. So if we get down here, there's small portions of metal that we need to install around the perimeter of the skylight in a specific order. You have to put your bottom piece on, your side pieces clip in. We'll go on the left side of the skylight now and show right here where this gap is and that the piece of metal that you're putting on the side actually needs to go in the gap there to make sure water runs off correctly. Make sure it's tucked in there nice and tight. And there are two small screws at the bottom of the kit that fasten everything together. Good. Okay, so now we're ready for our top piece of flashing. We're gonna make sure that everything is clear and then we're gonna slide it in nice and tight over the top and make sure it clips in. And there are two tabs on the side. You spin up and make sure it locks the flashing into place. So now that we're at our top course of shingles here, we're installing what we like to call a dummy shingle. What this shingle does is make sure that there's no seams anywhere on the top of the skylight where the flashing would end and water could get behind. So this shingle actually runs past, far past about 12 inches, you know, eight to, eight to 12 inches on either side of the skylight to make sure that all water flowing down doesn't meet a seam. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this instructional video on how to install a skylight properly. A couple things you wanna remember, that sticker on the inside of the glass, make sure you're taking that off before you install the skylight. Uh, also, when you install a skylight properly, there's no need for caulking or adhesives. If you use everything supplied by the manufacturer to install the skylight, you'll have a skylight with a lifetime warranty that'll last you for many, many years. So, my name's Moses, I'm from DreamWorks. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you on the next one.